what's up what's up my chatter boxes this is my celebrity chatter segment if you guys haven't done so already please feel free to like comment and subscribe it really helps me out a lot don't forget to share my videos i really really would appreciate that anyway this segment is um celebrity chatter like i said and it's in response to trina the diamond princess the baddest bitch and all her insensitive her um insensitive comments that she got on a radio show and just said today and the people was not here for it they was just not here for it. so we're gonna dive right into that and you know i'm curious as to what you guys think about the situation i also want to like play a clip of little wayne when he was talking you know to fat joe so i'm gonna place a couple clips then I'm going to insert my commentary and then I may just insert the little Wayne clip after I finish with the Trina portion of the sh um, of the video. Keep okay. everybody off the street, these animals off the street that are running around in Miami-Dade County acting like they have escaped from a zoo. Lock them up at 5 p.m. so the streets can be nice and clean. That's how I feel. That means tear by city. Ain't nobody tear up no city. That means tear up our That means run through and tear up our stores and burn down our stuff nobody, and breaking our stores. I don't approve okay. of it, period. Okay. I don't approve I don't of it, period. I'm now, talking about black lives. All right. The, All right. the black that lives matter. that matter, right? The same black mm -hmm. lives that are taken from the hands of other black people. Those are those oh, matter too, huh? I, All y'all fake for the protests and the fake. Oh, we so concerned about George Floyd. It half of y'all are marching. I'm not even caring about this man. People are just doing First maliciously. Of all, everybody. Everybody wasn't looting and burning up stuff. Mm -hmm. When the police get behind you and the red and blue lights come on, you're not supposed to be scared. You're not supposed to be scared. I'm never scared. I have die. my license and registration and insurance. I'm not scared. They need to make the curfew at 6 p.m. Okay, let's dissect this. Trina, born and raised in Miami, Dade County, uh, predominantly... In the hood, so a, a black neighborhood, a black neighborhood, predominantly black neighborhood. I'm pretty sure she has seen or heard of someone that she may have may know or someone that she knows that knows someone that has personally been victimized from police brutality. But she chose to get on her platform, which I do not think that she should be on a morning talk show just like i listened to funky dineva um video and he's right she's not educated enough she's not well spoken enough to be on there on a morning show as if you know in the biggest market is F, that she's in to be able to speak to the people she shouldn't be on that she, she shouldn't have that platform but since she do have that platform she has an obligation and the duty a duty to speak with some sense, speak for her people, and condemn what's wrong. Don't get me wrong. I have a problem with people killing, with black people killing one another too. But that's another day. That's another fight for another day. They don't got shit to do with what we marching for right now. What we marching for right now is systemic racism through, you know, our the people that's supposed to be here to protect us and you know and help us out and police us and things like that. They are working against us. We are affected in mass numbers because of the systemic racism and in these institutional places this is what we're fighting for okay maybe you would have a different opinion of it if you had a brown i mean a black boy but from what i hear i didn't actually hear, hear trina say it but a lot of people were saying trina don't at one point wasn't even claiming her blackness she was saying she was dominican you know what i'm saying so she, maybe she got a problem with being black i don't know but you can't i i don't know you know what i'm saying so police brutality is what we fighting for the end of police brutality against black people. That's what we fighting for. Don't bring black on black crime into this. Because if you really want to get into it, I bet you if the numbers, you know, statistics was put out there, white people is white on white crime too. 
Asian people is Asian, you know, um, Asian on Asian crime. It's it's really economical as to how, you know, people, you know, harm each other. You are around nothing but black people. That's who you have access to. So it's kind of, I mean, it's fucked up all the way aboard. I'm not uh, justifying it in it. But, you know, if you look at, you know, how things work, you're going to probably... Uh, come in contact with the person of your own kind because that's what you around the most so that's why the numbers seem high on black and black crime because that's you know we're in you know that's who we are, are amongst and if you do the numbers with whites asians and primarily asian um areas white areas you know hispanic areas you you will see that those numbers is kind of fair in the the, the amount of you know Asian on Asian crime, white on white crime, Dominican on Dominican crime, you know, um, things like that. The only reason why, you know, everybody think it's so, you know, so rampant in the black community, which it is, I'm not denouncing that, is because that's who they report on the most. That's who they report on the most. They want to put that narrative out there. We're out here just you know, murdering each other and we out here just, you know, ravaging through, you know, our communities and things like that. That's the narrative that they want to put out. So I'm not saying that it's certain things aren't happening. I'm not saying that, but we know it's happening in other places as well. They just not reporting on everything that happened in those communities. That's all I'm saying. But like I said, that's a fight for another day. This is this, the shit we dealing with is pol um, police brutality and Trina. How dare you get your ass, your black ass, up on that radio show and call your black people animals and and and, and berate them like that and saying you know they're stupid and how you know they were damaging you know the the black communities and you worrying about your friend business and all that let me tell you something hopefully your friend had um insurance and i am i am not you know advocating for the looting and things like that i would have liked for things to be peaceful but people has been marching marching peacefully for years they have been singing fucking fucking spiritual songs and uplifting songs for years and that shit ain't get them nowhere it seemed like some changes is about to come because they out here fucking shit up that's what they doing sometimes you got to fuck shit up and hit people in their goddamn pockets before you get a change now am i and i don't care about these big corporations i really don't because they guess what they, they, they funding the races. So you think I care about Target getting hit up? You think I care about fucking Apple getting hit up? How to the goddamn no. I ain't sorry. No, I ain't sorry. No, I'm not. Because if that's what it's going to take for us to get some change, then God willing, do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. If it's going, a change going to come out of it. No, I don't uphold them hitting them pharmacies when people can't get their medication, the grocery store, people can't get their groceries. I don't condone n none of that. But, I, you know, as a black woman, you get frustrated and you be like, well, maybe you got to, you know, make people uncomfortable and do some, you know, extreme things for shit to change. Like, we need a change. We need a change. That's all we asking for is the change. And if we got to rattle some cages for us to get it, then so goddamn be it. So goddamn be it. But I'll be damned if I'm going to get on any platform as a black woman and sit up there and talk shit on my black people in a time like this. At the time like this, we should all be coming together. You know what I mean? We should all come together as a people and combat this fucking, you know, systematic racism that oppress us. And hopefully the next generation will have a better, you know, you know, outcome of everything because of the shit that we doing now. Then you're going to sit, you know, and Trick was trying to save her, but she kept on digging her damn, you know, putting her foot in her damn mouth. And, you know, at a certain point, you, you got to let a motherfucker drown. And that's where he, you know, excuse the profanity, excuse the profanity, because I just, I'm keep, it's playing back as I'm talking to y'all. And I done used so many curse words in this video, and I apologize for that. But I'm speaking because this is like a, a um, passionate you know, topic for me, and it's just out of emotion. So please, please, please forgive me for the, you know, the profanity. I, please, I know I curse, but I don't normally curse this much. Please, 
forgive me. Trick, like I said, Trick was trying to save her and stuff like that, but she she ain't she ain't want the life raft. She ain't want it. She she thought that she could just get on there and say what she want to say, and that was gonna be the end of the end of it. But no, 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 because Masika got her butt up on social media and dragged her. She said, "Oh, I woke up to this coon," and they were going back and forth. Trina was th I'm a, I'm gonna insert the um the tweets. Trina was threatening to um, beat her up. And Masika said, well, come do it. And Trina was saying, you need to find out who your baby daddy is. And Masika was saying, it's always the nine barren ones. They're always, you know, talking shit. It went, it went, it went down. It went down. It went down. And then I never even thought that I would ever side or agree with Young Miami because I don't even like the music that they put out. I don't like the kind of music that it represents. But she was actually talking with some sense. And she went on her live and she was saying that it wasn't, you know, towards Trina. But she was like, she don't like the fact when people try to equate Black Lives Matter, you know, police, um, the movement with the police brutality versus black on black crime she was like it doesn't have shit to do with black and black black crime it don't have shit to do with police brutality this is not one and the same she was like when you see you know these people you know get arrested and they you you see people cops with a knee on their neck and they suffocate them to death and things like that that's a different beast that's a different beast and this been happening for years and years and years and years you know what i'm saying so miss me with the bullshit trina miss me with the bullshit you know what i mean every life loss is fucked up okay excuse me every last life loss is messed up whether it by the hands of a cop or hands by you know somebody that look like you but this right here is a different guy that going to fight. It's a different fight. We'll fight that other fight in a, in, a, in a minute. Let's deal with this, what's going on right now. And I hope Trick checked her behind because he was trying to get with her on air. But, you know, I hope he really dug in her butt, out, you know, when they um, got off air, you know, as a, as a black man. You know, and as a friend and a, as a brother, so you call, he should, I hope, I hope he was able to get through to you. And then he, he was saying how, you know, it's scary for a black man. Y'all heard the clip. He's, it's scary for a black man. Every time you see them sirens, you get nervous. He was like, I don't because I got license and insurance and registration. How many other black people that's dead in the ground today had the proper paperwork and they still got murder be, um, from a cop just because they was black? How many other ones? Trina, you sound so stupid you sound stupid my paperwork right too but guess what i tense up every time they come behind me too because i can catch the wrong cop on the right guy there going day and he just want to take me out because of the color of my skin and ain't got shit to do and that's all he got to do is make up a lie as to oh she reached for something i thought she had this i thought she did this that's all he got to do so what you having your paperwork right got to do with your you dump sparing your life you sound stupid you sound stupid. You sound stupid. And them little thousand fans that you may have had, you ain't going to, you, you need every fan base that you got. And, and guess what? The people ain't, the people ain't feeling you, Trina. The people ain't feeling Trina. They ain't feeling Trina. They ain't feeling Trina. Now they was waiting for um, Kaya to drag her ass. Kaya ain't do her court, but she did um, post a tweet and she said, you know, Trick been trying to save you. It ain't no saving you. I'ma post her little tweet too. Like, come on. Like, enough is enough. Like, we don't need that from our black people at a time like this. This is a crucial moment. We fighting for justice. We fighting for the system to be, you know, changed within. You know what I'm saying? The young people out here is messing shit up. They waking stuff up. And don't get me wrong. Or is looter? Is it looters out there? Yeah, is it opportunists out there that's not really worrying about, you know, the cause and, you know, the Black Lives Matter movement or the George Floyd? Absolutely. But it's more people out here protesting on the right side of things. It's more people out here trying to effectively get things done than the, you know, handful of people that they show on TV. And let's not get it messed up. The police is triggering riots, through, you know, through peaceful kind um protests. They're still cutting up. They're still 
cutting up. But y'all not focusing on that. Y'all focusing on the people that, you know, the small group of people that's looting. That's what y'all want to focus on. No, no. And it ain't all black people that's in there looting. Let's let's get let's be very clear. It's not all black people that's looting. So you got to be real careful when the words that you put out there, especially when you got a huge platform. I don't have a huge platform. My platform is small. So my voice don't reach a lot of people, but you reach thousands and thousands of people, maybe more than that. So you got to be careful what you put out there. You really do. I, I still try to be careful with what I put out there because I'm not going to listen. I'm not going to stand for wrong. But I feel like we're at war for our natural rights that we should have. So in war, sometimes you're going to have some goddamn going casualties. And, ca and, and the casualty in this war is some goddamn retail stores. Whoop the goddamn do. I ain't worrying about the property lost. I'm worrying about that man begging for his mama while he was getting a life choked out of her. You understand what I'm saying? You can miss me with the material stuff, the stuff that's already written off to insurance. You can miss me with that. You can miss me with that. I ain't worrying about that. I'm worrying about the men, that, the, the guy in... Uh, Louisville, Kentucky, that the cops shot in the crowd and killed him. And he, he was a business owner in there, too. They killed him. Just like they called the cops. It was bi black business owners that called the cops so they could protect them, and they end up arresting them because they, they was black. You understand what I'm saying? Until they realized that they was actually business owners. That's the, that's the shit that I'm, I'm worrying about. I could care damn about a Target, a, 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 a Macy's, a Norse. I can care less, okay? I can care less. So, you guys, y'all can let me know what y'all think about the Trina situation. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to end this um, segment on talking about her. I'm going to upload, you know, the clips of her and Masika going back. And then I'm going to insert the Kaya um clip i'm also going to insert the younger miami clip so you guys tell me you know how you feel about what night young miami said now she came out and said that it wasn't in response to trina but the time I, I really do think it was in response to trina but hey you know listen sometimes people that's in your circle need to get in your ass to let you know that you ain't right you ain't right all right y'all is black lives matter we talking about police killing innocent black men and stuff like that we're not talking about black on black crimes we niggas not killing niggas because they niggas niggas killing niggas in the street because of what they got going on we're not talking about that that's a different situation for a different time that's a whole nother subject it's like if i go to the store and I got $20 and you feel like my $20 fake, that shouldn't cause me losing my life. I should just go to jail or whatever or whatever it is. It shouldn't lead to somebody being on the floor crying for their mama saying, please, let me stand up. I can't breathe. That's, that's, that's like just to watch that. That shit hurt. Like, bitch, imagine that being my son or my daddy or my uncle or my son on the talking about. We're not. Okay, I'm not going to talk about it because I don't feel like going through that. The important, the importance of the message is. So that was some of the clips that I put on there. You know, with Masika and Trina going back and forth. And we all know how Trina talked. Like she was talking about them girls on the TV, like on the show, you know, Love and Hip Hop Miami, how they're beneath her. She said Kaya was beneath her. For some reason, she got this sense of entitlement and she thinks that she's higher than where she, you know, really is. And I don't give a fuck how much money you got. 
what status you hold. You should never, and I know I know people do, but you should never let that make you think that you're better than the next person. You know better than the bum on the street. You just was dealt a better, you know, a better hand. That's all. You know better. God made us equal. And at the end of the, at the end of the day, because we all go, we all going to leave this earth. You're not so special where God not going to take your, your your life at one at um at one point. You know what I'm saying? So people got to start putting that shit in perspective. Like we all going to leave this earth, so we ain't no special than the next person. God ain't made it where we live forever, and this person die. So miss me with that bullshit. Miss me with that bullshit. Then Lil Wayne got his ass up on um. You know, Fat Joe little um, live, and Fat Joe was asking him about how do he feel about the nature of what's going down, and he was like, he don't like to talk about it. Now he made some points where he was like, you know, it has, it should be more than a hashtag. Like once you do the hashtag, once you post post stuff, because he said a lot of people be asking him why he don't post this ever. He was like, once you do that, what's what's the next phase? You know, what's what's what are you going to do next? What are you going to follow it up with? But what he don't understand, what a person with that platform and reach as many people as he do, the many um, backgrounds that he reach, that one post that he posts may change the way people think. You know what I'm saying? Because he don't realize the influence that he has. And I don't, and little mama had got on, you know, somebody um, live and she was saying how she been in contact with, you know, in the circles with a lot of, you know, celebrities and what she take from it. A lot of people aren't identifying with their blackness anymore. They only identify with the fact of being rich. So I feel as though we as the people, the buying people, we need to start holding these people accountable. These people that look like us come from the same hood as us. They get this little money and then they look down on us. They think they been, we, we, we're beneath them. They don't want to fight for our causes no more because they got money. But soon when something happened with them, they want us to rally behind them. Get on our platforms, get on our social medias, get on this, to rally behind them. Get the, I'm no longer supporting nobody that don't support us. Period. Period. Even though you might say, oh, they not going to miss your little money. Yeah, but if a lot of people think like I do, and we come together as the people, they will miss that money. And this ain't the first time Lil Wayne says some stuff like that. He defended a cop before, too. He said, oh, a white cop, help me out. I, cause we, and, and, and what my saying is, okay, Lil Wayne, you might have, I'm pretty sure it's good people in the system. I'm pretty sure that everybody ain't out trying to hunt us down. I'm, I'm pretty sure that, but you gotta look at it in its entirety and the way that the you know the system is corrupt and how it has plagued our communities. You have to look at it in that point, not just that one encounter that you had with that one white cop that treated you nice. I'm pretty sure you had other incidents where you wasn't treated so nice. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm I'm sorry, I ain't listening to a motherfucker that got one dread in his goddamn hair. Got all them goddamn stupid tattoos on his goddamn going face. Miss me with that bullshit, Wayne. As black as you are, the way you look, and you got a nerve to sit up there and can't stand for black people. Uh, I, the nerve of these goddamn on people. I wish Fat Joe would have like put him in his place or gave him a different way of looking at things, but Black J Fat Joe didn't do that. And I was kind of, you know, I wasn't disappointed in that but i thought he missed his moment that he could have probably schooled him but maybe he didn't have the words you know you know to, you know to school him on you know what i mean like maybe he didn't know what to say or how to say it you know what i mean so so i can't you know knock him for you know the things that he didn't say but Lil wayne you really got to be careful as to what the energy that you put out and i'm going to actually insert that clip too so after the clip that's all i have for you guys if you guys like the video please feel free to like comment and subscribe i didn't mean the video to be this long i thought it was going to be like a short 10 minute video but i went on rambling and i apologize for that and like i said i appreciate everybody that support me like i said please share my videos it helps me out a lot you know, tell a friend, tell a friend. I would like some more subscribers. So if you guys can help me out with that, I appreciate. Again, what I mean by that, we have to, we have to stop, we have to stop viewing it from with such a broad view. Meaning, we have to stop put, placing the blame on the whole, the whole force and the whole everybody of such a certain, a certain race, uh, everybody with a badge. And we have to actually, 
we have to get get into who that person is and if we want to place the blame on anybody it, it should be ourselves for not doing more than what we think we're doing yeah, I, mean, it's, it's, well, I mean we're leaving it at a we the, the reason why people always ask me like why you don't say this why you don't do that is because a lot i mean what else am i going to do after that we leave we, we some some people put a tweet out and they think that's they think they did something that some people wear a shirt they think they did something I mean, what you gonna do after that? Did, did you actually help the person? Did you actually help the family? Did you actually go out there and do something? So if I ain't about to do all that, then I ain't about to do nothing. I pray for you. You say the follow the follow up is the follow through is is more important than wearing the shirt or talking about it is actually is actually right. It's actually learning about it. What, what we need to do is we need to learn about it more. If we want to scream about something, know what we screaming about. We want to protest about something. No, we protesting about because if we if we want to get into it, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a bunch of it's a bunch of facts that we don't we think we know that we don't know. So if we want to get into it first, know what we talking about before we talk about it because we scream about. It. Lil Wayne was on some bullshit. That's all I had for this video. Like I said, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to holler at your girl.